Hey, it's Vana, and welcome back to Fallout 4, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we started the quest, the last voyage of the USS Constitution. My favorite quest in the game, and also the best quest in the game. It's not even uh, opinion at this point, it's just fact. Let's take a look at what we need to do. We met Ironsides in the last episode, and we're trying to repair their ship so they can continue their duty. We need to recover the guidance chip, and that shouldn't be too far. If you remember in the last episode, while we were aboard the deck, uh, a bunch of scavengers, not raiders, tried to raid the ship. You can see their dead bodies here. Wow, they actually have a lot of good stuff. Hold on, I need to loot their dead bodies now. Uh, let's see, what do you have? Ooh, that's nice. And how about you, sir? Oh, I like that very much, thank you. Anyone else that I can see? I know there's probably dead bodies up there and over there, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just do a quick little sprint over here and talk to this woman, Mandy Stiles. Excuse me. Don't shoot. Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag you anyhow. They just wanted to kill the freaking robots. So some of your guys almost got me killed. We told those crazy assholes not to attack. It's not our fault, all right? When they saw you waltz right into the Constitution, they just went ballistic. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were gonna get cratered for sure. Does it really matter how I got aboard? Fine, don't tell me. But you gotta look inside, right? All that self. The real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. Too bad I don't care at all about salvage and junk, my friend. So it all boils down to greed. Like it always does. Hey, if we sell those gizmos, uh, I don't know, they could help orphans and stuff. Us humans could use it a lot more than those robots. So you talked with a tin can. What do you have to say? We talked about a lot of things. Let me guess. He wants his computer chip back, right? Well, too bad. It's our salvage now. You know what he needs it for? His rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains? Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. I need to think about this. Don't take too long or we'll crack the Constitution open ourselves. Then you'll get nothing. Or I could just kill all of you right here, right now. I mean, that's an option. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we're going to go into our inventory. We're going to go into aid. We're going to act... Wait a second, no! Do I not have a- Oh, I thought I had a, a stealth boy. Damn it! Well, we can see where the, the chip is back there, and they're not actually gonna turn hostile. Wait, are they? I thought they don't unless you, uh... Unless you take it. Um... So there's the guidance chip, so you should be able to just yank! And now I think even if they detect me, you can see the hidden bar has gotten really small there. So maybe if we just stand perfectly still, we could also just blow this guy's brains out right now. All it would take is one trigger pull. Just pop! Um, but I think that would alert everyone else. So let's go ahead and put this away. Sneak a little bit over to this door. We'll activate this. Oh, we are so close to getting away with this. And there we go. Goodbye. Okay, let's deactivate that. I don't think it's going to go off anyways. Yeah, of course not. We have that sneak perk. Alrighty, and now I think they are hostile, so I'm not sure if it's going to let me fast travel. You cannot fast travel while enemies are nearby. Makes sense. 
but we were able to grab that chip anyways. It's kind of ironic that we're helping the robots, considering we sided with the Brotherhood of Steel in this playthrough. Um, and we're, you know, against synths, at least that's what the Brotherhood is. They're against synths. But anyways, do we need to talk to Lookout? No, it looks like we need to go back to Ironsides. So how do we do that again? I always forget temporarily. There we go. Up here. And... I'll see you guys there. Alrighty! Oh, I guess we're not talking to iron sides. What is this? Core guidance system. Okay. What is that even connected to? Oh, this giant thing here. Which looks like a satellite. Interesting. Hello, hey, Mr. Navigator. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Chip recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is not functional. Requires replacement. Happy to help you out. Again. Soldier's happiness is irrelevant. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Repair or replace Poseidon radar transmitter. Well, it's right here. Let's see if we have the required intelligence. I think it's nine. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it. This is the guidance systems radar which was salvaged from a Coast Guard vessel. Practically all of its components have been repaired or replaced. The only broken component is a burned out Poseidon radar transmitter. It's a rare part that only that's only used in Poseidon facilities. A master repairman may be able to repair the dead transmitter. I was able to repair this the last time because I had maxed out intelligence. This time, we are not so lucky. Let's see where this is taking us. Because I have not done this part. Okay, looks like all the way over here to an unmarked location. At least now it's unmarked. Alrighty, we're about to reach our destination in a second here. And I can already see ghouls all over the place. Well, we're not going to be in sneak for long. Poseidon Reservoir. Yeah, I've definitely not even been to this location. Wow, did I just miss all those shots? On any character. So let's see what we got. We're going to have to clear all these ghouls out first, obviously. Do you have a missile launcher? That would make short work of them. But we only have two, it looks like. Yeah, I haven't mentioned also that they gave them... Um, yeah, let's take out the missile launcher. They gave them an evasive maneuver. Like when you... You saw when I was firing those 10 millimeter rounds at them. They were able to, like, sort of dodge them. Okay, I need you guys to get grouped up. If you could... This reminds me of my Black Ops Zombies game, or Black Ops Zombies days. Okay, um, this might not be the smartest thing to do, but there are so many I would really like to just clear them all out with one well-placed missile. Alright, so if you could get, like, right... That sort of worked. Yeah, that worked pretty well. I was scared that was going to hit me. Man, there's a lot out here. Okay, double barrel it is. Hello. And goodbye. We have one more would appear. Look at that. What is he even doing? <laughs> he just made like a beeline. Diagonally there. Alright, two more shots should do the trick. Maybe three. Where'd you go? There you are. I would really like to hit your head, so if you could stand... No, not like that. Really need to get as many of these buckshot rounds into you as possible. Goodbye. Okay, let's go ahead and use a right away. Still running a little bit low on sim packs here. Into the Poseidon Reservoir. Alright, so absolutely don't know what to expect in this location. But our objective is only 20 meters away. However, it is below us. And there's a ghoul. Okay, looks like we activated at least three. Gonna try and make a break for it. Screw this. Uh, oh god, that door is locked. Terminal, terminal, where's the terminal? Okay, looks like we have to fight our way through this. Uh, there's an explosive right there, and we definitely have frag- Oh my god! Well, I feel like a character in The Walking Dead now. Okay, grenades are gonna be our best bet here. Take that. Oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. To us! Alrighty, let's try that again. I didn't see that terminal, there's one though. Oh, why was this not reloaded? I always make sure to reload. Okay, and pop. Pop, like the character from Community. Okay. 
Let's definitely open this. And hope to God there's at least two stim packs inside. One. All right. Let's take out this. Because they're all alerted. Oh, my. All right. Let's just let loose. Actually, we have a minigun. Oh, it's a Ghoul Slayer's minigun. What am I doing? Totally forgot. Time to lay waste. This legendary machine gun does 50% extra damage to ghouls. And as you can see there, pretty much chewed them all up pretty nicely. Let's use one stim pack. Okay, we're still in danger, but that's quite alright. We're unstoppable with this. Let's loot all these ghouls. Duct tape. I guess I should take the duct tape, even though I don't build or mod anything. Subway token. Still haven't found a use for that yet. I wonder if there is a use. I collected them in Fallout 3. Okay, terminal here. Let's see what it has. Bring your kids to work day. Reservoir status. Database offline. Security door control. That's what we want. Open door. Alrighty. And it looks like it did open that door in the distance there. Okay. Uh, just in case anyone wants to read this stuff. There's the first one. There's the second one. Okay. Let's just head to our objective. None of these ghouls can stop us. Although we did waste like half of our ammo already. And that was pretty fast. Where'd you go, buddy? I need to kill you. There you are. Hello. And goodbye. Man, this is actually a pretty good legendary, I just realized. Yeah, pretty much any location that has a bunch of ghouls. Uh, this thing's just going to be like an easy way out. Two stim packs, thank you very much. Also, window I didn't check. Or mirror, sorry. Okay, a glowing... Yeah, a glowing one. And... Sayonara. Oh, there's still one more. This one's legendary. Let's see if you can give me something as good as the weapon I used against you. Fortifying synth chest piece. One strength and endurance. Nope. That sucks. Bottle cap, irradiated blood. And our prize should be right down here. In this steamer trunk. Poseidon radar transmitter. Bottle caps. 38 rounds. Don't want any of that stuff. We have a safe here. We are able to pick master locks. Got it. And... Okay, okay. Wow, that was pretty bad, but at least we got a stealth way out of it. Alright, let's just do a double take around here and make sure that we are done. This place was sort of difficult, although it really only took us one stim pack, right? Could really use a bed. Hopefully the USS Constitution has one. And uh, I will return there. Alright, unfortunately I did not see a bed that I could use. I mean, I know this ship is manned by robots, but still, there should be a bed on a ship, right? Um, let's go ahead and use one right away, and we'll hold off on using stim packs just in case we do find a bed somewhere. And, let's go replace whatever needs replacing. Okay, install a new Poseidon radar transmitter. You remove the burned out radar transmitter in place and replace it with a new one you found. After a moment, LEDs flicker to life and the radar system reports it is fully operational. Talk with the Hours. navigator. Hey, navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. Alrighty. Captain? Hey, captain. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler. Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion. Which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. I'm always happy to help. I would expect nothing less. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, 
but I have faith you will succeed. Yes, it will be a dangerous mission, definitely. If this is what I think is going on. Let's see. Find FLL3 turbo pump bearings, and if it takes me to Corvega, yep. Mm hmm. So the last time I was at Corvega. Wait a second. No, this is not what I'm thinking of. Huh, interesting. Um, I'm going to make a pit stop at Sanctuary just to use a bed real quick, and then we'll head on over to Corvega. Alrighty, we're at this terrible place again. Um. I'm going to try my best to make this a stealth mission because I don't want to fight through hundreds of raiders. So, yet again, it is clear as day outside, and this dude is like looking right at me. I know there's turrets, I know there's a whole bunch of stuff out here, we're already in caution. I think we'll go ahead and use that stealth boy just to get inside, which is a pretty bad way to use it, but yeah. I want to conserve ammo until we get that second rank of the gun nut perk and we are able to make a uh, silencer. Nope! Are they really about to discover me when I use the stealth boy? Alright, so I don't remember coming to Corvega for this quest, which is pretty interesting. Uh, looks like we're also looking for... Are we still... Yeah, we're still invisible. <laughs> looks like we're also looking for um, an elevator because it's going to be above us. Oh! Uh, uh. Alright, let's make a break for it. Oh yeah, this place is really easy though because they're all low leveled. Can I not get stuck? What, what's happening? Wow, I totally got stuck there. Cool. Excuse me. Alright, let's take out our pistol here and murder that guy brutally. Does this elevator lead up? I don't know if it does, so we'll just go up this way actually. I think, yeah, I think that elevator goes down. If I remember right, lower level. Nope, we want the upper level. Yeah, so like I was saying, I don't remember coming to Corvega for this particular quest. Oh, and also apparently there's a bobblehead in this place that I never realized. Okay, this thing's gonna go down as well. Alright, let's just do some sneaking here. Where, where do we need to go? Looks like it is on this level, actually. Um, I heard the bobblehead was on the roof? I don't think it's in this room where we are right now. Okay, it's in the room with Jared. Or where Jared was. Ah! Alright, let's make a break for it. Let's reload. Nope! Don't want to get hit by that. Goodbye. Yeah, like I said, this, uh, this location is really low leveled for some reason. And they're not going to be able to deal any real damage to me. Although the turrets seem to be taking a lot of damage. Okay, let's try that again. I hate making this jump because it only seems to work half of the time. And you are super annoying, so die. Ah, come on! There we go. Okay. Just murder all these. See, we can just space tank like all of this stuff because they're so low level. And this is on normal still. Alright, in here we have the turbo pump bearings. And, uh, I guess we should try for the bobblehead. I'm just not sure exactly where to go. I think there's only one exit to the, uh, the roof, right? So, I guess we'll just make that exit. And see if that gets us the bobblehead. So the exit I'm talking about, of course, is right over here. Alright, actually I did remember this doesn't really lead to the roof, it leads to uh, just an elevated section, right? Or maybe not, maybe we need to go all the way up there. Um, but I have been all the way up there and I don't remember seeing a bobblehead. I think we have to go up there somewhere. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end this episode here, thanks for watching. You feel that? <laughs> it's called fear. Yeah, it's called what? Uh, I will return to the USS Constitution by the time that the next episode starts. And I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Again, bye-bye.